Welcome to Dude RV. Today, I find myself in Choke Canyon State Park. Welcome to Dude RV. We're wandering around Texas, checking out all of the great Texas state parks. And today I find myself in Choke Canyon State Park, actually the Callahan unit, south of San Antonio. So we're gonna get on a little red and we're gonna go for a ride. Let me get the camera seated. We gotta do a little off-road hump jump, ditch jumping. Try to keep you straight. Keep you on the straight and narrow. There we go, that'll keep you. All right, here we go. Cue the music. Since we got a lot of wind, I hope it turns out good. got a cold front coming in tomorrow of course it is June 3rd 2020 it's a Friday and as you can see the RVers are lining up I was uh, rather, been rather disappointed since I arrived. Seems that the city of Corpus Christi, they own the lake. It's one of their water sources. And they've allowed the lake to drop dramatically. I don't even know if y'all gonna be able to hear me with the wind. I hope so. I'll keep talking. Not for long. We'll be back in the trees here shortly. Mesquite trees. We're down in the, uh, I think they call it the salt plains. Not sure. I have to research that. <laughs> we're, we're south of San Antonio. Almost halfway to the city of Corpus Christi. There's not a whole lot of big trees down here. Mostly just mesquite trees. I have seen a lot of wildlife in the three hours I've been here. A couple of deer, lots of birds. Checking me out. Making sure I'm legal. Man, that wind is just sucking my battery dry. <laughs> That's almost as bad as going up a steep hill. Well, there's four sections to Choke Canyon, actually five if you count the second unit which is over by the dam. <laughs> That's a part of the call. Now, the day use facility over by the dam has you know some boat ramp and a couple of picnic tables. Here in the Callahan unit 
There's a day use area, well actually two day use areas, a tent camping area, cabins, and an RV loop. But we'll start with the tent loop and go from there. Of course, if this wind picks up much more, <laughs> I might have to do it in two sections because I'll be out of battery. like a turkey right there at least a dozen of them so I said we were going to the tent section first that's wrong we're gonna go to the day use area first This is another one of those Texas State Parks that in its heyday was probably a fantastic place. I mean, the bones are still here, but that's about all. The lake level is at 30% of capacity, and when the park was built, they had a very huge swim area, day use swim area. Now it's, it's a pasture. There's no water. I'm gonna head down here to the boat ramp. you boat ramp fans there are lots of pavilions they use pavilions over here by the boat ramp two fish cleaning stations at one point they had a jetty sticking out into the lake but the lake is so low now that you can't fish from the jetty You'll see that as I loop around here on the head of the, the top of the boat ramp. So that was intended to be a fishing area down there. And that was beach. Swim area. That's a group pavilion. All right, over here we have a gymnasium. What? At one time, there was a nice big swimming pool. It's filled in. There's a tennis court, baseball field, bas outside basketball court, uh, and it looks like a couple of group areas, at least one outside and one inside.
All right, now we'll head over to the tent site. And that's really of interest to us because there's a 12 acre lake there. I was down here checking out the 12 acre lake earlier I saw the an alligator in the water it wasn't a big one he was an alligator nonetheless Quite a different area from where I was a couple weeks ago at Cooper Lake State Park. Totally different ecosystem. my little red scooter just they're just not keeping up anymore lots of miles on these batteries in here and more tent sites out here Make up a little bit of lost battery with the wind at our back now. You have a boat, you're coming out here to do some boating or fishing from a boat. I saw some guys, a group of men that had a big mess of fish. I didn't ask them what they were, what bait they were using. They were, didn't seem to be too very talkative. shelter loop. At one time I think there were just screen shelters but they've since been uh, enclosed and air conditioned.
stop twice next time. Nature Trail, Owl Hollow. We'll, we'll come back and check that out tomorrow. That was our dump station, by the way. I say our, that's the dump station. I really don't want to lay claim to having a dump station. I just want to take advantage of it. TxDOT has done a really nice job maintaining the roads here at Caddo Lake. Not at Caddo Lake, what am I saying? Choke Canyon. Choke Canyon State Park. The pull off is there. There's no attraction. Maybe there once was. Like there once was a beach. Like there once was a swimming pool. But no more. Yep, we're gonna have to cut it short and come back and do the cabin loop due to low battery. I think I got just enough to get back to the RV. A ride through the cabin loop. They call it the shelter. Call it a shelter loop, but it looks like all the shelters have been turned into air-conditioned cabins. There's a little trail right here that I, I I'll have that in the, the the trail playlist. Scooter trail ride. Keep in mind, it is Saturday, it's Friday. What day is it? It's Labor Day weekend, I know that much. Well, like half the cabins are available. This park has got more group pavilions than any other park I've been to. Alright, now we're going to head over to the RV camping loop. Provided the big F-250 doesn't run me over. Maybe I'll run him over. <laughs> I'll scoot him down. Big 
just part of wildlife. new batteries. All right, this is the RV loop. We're just going to cruise through this side nice and slow so y'all can get a look at the sites. They're all flat, asphalt pads, water, electric. A couple of them have some nice shade. Majority of them, not so much. up on the end. The north wind is blowing hard. Fortunately, it's not cold. end of the road. <laughs> Those are always so much fun. Hey, I, I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did probably more because that wind was pretty brutal if this is your first visit to dude rv hey i really appreciate you stopping by and i really appreciate you coming along for the ride here at choke canyon state park this is texas state park number number 56 <sighs> hard to believe anyway for those of you who have been riding along i'm honored you know it. That's why. You, that's why I do what I do, y'all. Y'all just keep pushing me forward. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Y'all come back now. You hear? <laughs>